Hello guys and ghouls, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I am the gamer, the spooky gamer, and right now we are right where we left off and we are going to go see if I can remember her name. What is her name? Her name is Miss Bonnie McFarland. And I am apparently not very far from her, so let's go there now. Oh, not that. That's weird. This is an Xbox yeah. Series S, so it's weird to have that pop up. Do, 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 do. I hope everyone is having a great day, or night, or evening, whenever you decide to watch this. If you decide to watch this. Come on, let's see. Now, this is just the third episode. But, I have to say, at least in the game, the shooting aspect is not easy to control. Because, I thought it had an auto-aim, but it does not seem like it does. At least not in the sense that I'm used to, like in GTA. how much ammo I have so I don't know if I should go to my little you can now help the ranch hands patrol the apartment well I don't really want to do that no 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 unless I can't oh wait come back oh, okay so I gotta go seek that no I'm not helping right now 5 a.m. and 6, so oh, get up here. Hope I have a hitch in front of my little house. Yes, I do. Hitch it. There you go. And I'm stuck. Okay. Let me just check my little chest here, see if there's anything in it. No, I don't want to change that fit. I want. Oh, I guess we will. We will save the game because I guess saving it is what you do to advance time. And I'm probably being stupid and doing it the wrong way by. Uh, what's the word? Uh, saving over everything. But you know, can I go help Miss Performing now? Hello, sir. Hello. Mr. McFarland. Yes, I can. Women and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do Thanks, so man. love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. I understood it. Do you it. do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call okay, me Bonnie. Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Aww. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. 
You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. Nope. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. Yeah. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. Damn. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Yeah, he did. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. Until he lost his mind. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. Yes, it is. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can I try. Can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. That way. This ought to be fun. Mount your horse. Yeah. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Gee up! Come on. Yeah. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Good to see Come you, Miss McFarlane. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Try this. That's it. Get behind the cow and oh, get that forward. Okay. No, you're going this way. Come on, there's a camp right here. Okay. Come on. Come on. Mobile, mobile milk machines. Come on. Let's go. Faster. Oh shit. Go, 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 go. Come on. Okay. Percy, go. Percy controls are not great. Not easy. Showing off now. All right, let's move this large herd out to the far pasture. Oh boy, this will be fun. Come on. Keep sweeping behind them. That way they'll stay together. Move. Let's go.
Let's go. Good. Now I'm going to take a wild guess that one of them went astray. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. No, not Either really. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Yeah, I got five bucks for that. You can save the game from anywhere in the wilderness. Choose the camp item from your okay, I already know. Well, let's see. I think we will go. Uh we'll go visit Nigel, see what he see what's up with him. See what help he needs. I'm gonna guess this game probably has like little side things you can do to pass time, you know. Little side missions and everything, but I'm not exactly a great I'm not exactly a one who does a lot of side missions unless I see a lot of benefit in them. I mainly just like to progress the story. Forgive me, sir. But I do know that there's poker in here and I will at least play that even though I don't quite know how to play poker. I'm not great at it. You know, trying to remember all the hands, what the hands beat what, and things like that. Oh, well, you know. Let's go faster, horsey. Well, if this if this horse is yours, I wish I could give it a name. like officially in the game, give it a name. But uh, I think I know the perfect name for this horse. Well, two names pop into my head, but I'm gonna go with Chester. Way is this guy? Jesus. Now, with the test travel to destination feature that's in here, apparently, I hope you don't have to go do something first to go find to discover the location, then be able to go to it. Because that's the way the panda butt. But, you know, that makes sense. Hi, dude. Man, these, these planes are so open. Holy crap. Old Swindler Blues. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? It's a trap. Mister, Be careful. you alive? Fuck, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. He is a doctor, Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm coming home! Wee, Fred Sanford. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just Next focus. Simple. Do I get to drive the stagecoach? Please let me get to drive the stagecoach, please. You better please. take the reins. I don't think I'm strong Good. enough. N.W. Oh, Dickens I'm the finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Yeah. Calm the drama there, dude. To Armadillo! Godspeed! 
Everybody do his arm real. Yeah, sure. No, I can't. What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have okay, me mistaken for somebody else, friend. Up here. The baller twin Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure Not travels bad. fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. Good oh, Lord! Sure. It's no scoundrels once again! I knew they would play that yeah. Am I out of wolf or something? Not this again! Is that all of them? Praise me! There's still hope! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. A good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. And forgive me, pain is playing rare havoc with my metaphors. Look out, Doug! More of them! You're killing me! The back on the damn wall! So weak, it looks like you're shooting at nothing! I knew you'd come. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. Go Is faster, that go faster, go go faster. Come on, hurry! I have a feeling he's gonna die before I get there. Come on, horse, go faster. This is it! You're gonna make it! Yeah. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. That's where you told me to go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Oh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll yeah. decide what you're my man for. I went well. Fame. I got some fame. Back after 2 p.m. today. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go see... Yeah. Where is it I can go to play poker? It's around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Back off. Stinking whore. I'm going to cut you a new hole. Okay. You think I'm a joke? No, let me watch your damn mind. I can't. My shooting sucks. And there she goes, glitching away. Both not all men are bad. I won't forget what you did here. Don't think you're welcome, you this no more, friend. Maybe it's time to think about a different line of business. Careful, lady. Now, where is it I can play poker? Um... Oh, duh. Can I see right there? Ah, dee 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 dee. 
Unless I have to be in a certain type of clothing to do this. Let's go see how I fare. Or, where is it? Let me guess, it's upstairs. Can't be upstairs, can it? This is in another door, part of this thing. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Where could it be? Where is it? In the back? No. Where the hell? Right here somewhere. Ah! Well, there's nobody here, so I guess I can't play poker yet. Damn. Well, no. Well, I guess we'll do is I'll go do a mar mission for the marshal. Mission for the marshal. Bounty right now, uh, do the mission. <laughs> okay, what's the green dot? Where? No, oh my God. Where's the? There's a green dot somewhere. Where is the green? What's the green dot? Oh, okay. Never mind. Spare the rods for a minute. <laughs> ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. The women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. That's right. John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. Well, somebody's got to do it. I don't know any other kind, sir. That explains you. Hey, wait up! I'm a terrible hunter. Let's go! All right, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a oh, great cool. many people. It's a medical breakthrough uh, from yeah, the East. The, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing for fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. No flannel mouth well, can't say a goddamn word, word you said. Look, vultures. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Yeah, how'd we go with Eli? Ah, oh, fuck. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Can you have give me a minute to loot? Peace. Man, this don't look too good. No shit, Sherlock. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Oh, looks like I got a new gun. Haha. <laughs> you have acquired a new weapon in Everywhere has one here to check out the weapon tab. Select a new weapon. Okay. Uh. Uh. 
bit more power, a bit more range. Reload speed a little slower, but you know. Alrighty. Now what? Turn to Marshall was okay. Come on, horsey, go faster. Come on. Giddy up. Oh, giddy up, 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 giddy up. Marshall. Okay, I thought he was standing still. Wait for me! Four vultures! This don't look so good! We best take a look, boys. Okay, doggy. Smoking. The scumbags must still be around. Come on. All right. Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitches. Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marsden? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Place looks deserted. You stop. Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. Okay. Come on, you check the buildings in the barn. Do I stay on the horse? Guess not. Okay, the horse is dancing. Still. Nobody's in the shed. Nope, oh, nobody here. I really hope nobody's in the house now. Why is me the walking dead? That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Break that door down. The rest of you can get your guns ready. Uh, oh, okay. Wasted force for this. Oh, that's incredible. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Thank God you're not naked. Please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Alrighty. Get into that house. Alrighty, you That's enough. Hang on. I want this. This. Get into that house! 
goddamn law. Well, you guys could go in. Hard to wait for me. Two of them are upstairs. Are you kidding me? Glad it auto I'm glad it glad it collects the ammo armor. Do, 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 do. You and me gonna have ourselves fun. Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Oh, thank God. Come on, you coward. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. And keep your head down. I thought it was Thank a good you. Shot. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. How y'all doing? Fine. Fine. Okay. Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is You're wrong welcome. with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal! These are people's lives! People's homes! Yeah. Right up, boy! We gotta get after those bandits! Hurry, boys! Let's get after them! Forky! Just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. Wait, who's that up there? Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! It'll be fun. Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Uh, oh, why'd you put... I don't need that pistol. Even this, this, stupid. Get ready, boys. Here they come. Oh my God. That's too damn close! Make these bastards pay for what they did to those farmers. Just drop the gun! It ain't worth it! Get me will you fool! Where are you? Another one dead? 
friends now. Kill me. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Wild West Keith. Norman guy. Deke. Fuck. <laughs> I really I hope you can't you, the outside of this. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Hate you, Norman. Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Fifty bucks. Trust the law! Let me get off the horse so I can do some looting here. To the victor, the spoil. Assassin's Creed, this is what I'm always doing when I take somebody out. I guess we can go to Miss Bonnie. Can't go do anything with Bonnie, but once in a bit. You know what? How about we try to do the... the campfire thing? Because I really do not want to just... Okay. Yes. Thought I could. All right. Look away, people, if you're squeamish. Okay, that's not that. Hey, can I put a camp over here now? We are going to the ranch. We're going to Bonnie McFarland. Do 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 do. And I'm going to guess I can't do anything until 
as I sleep. Anything in here? A beautiful wife is Don Baller Boys on roughed up a couple more yesterday. Alright, we're going to save. Which I wish it wasn't saving that advanced time, but you know. Alright, now we are going to talk to Miss Bonnie. Well, I can't even repeat it. No, I don't really want to play for shoes. I did think that's what that was, though. This will probably be the last mission of the day of the episode. Wild horses, tame passions. I guess I'm going to get myself another horse. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws. And we had drought. And we had smallpox. Terrible winters. Cholera. I bury more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're yes, I have it. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this, Mr. Of Marston. I am. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Alrighty. Yeehaw. Whoa! You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, no. sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. Do the more up. you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. I'm only holding one button in, and I'm great. Uh, 
I don't have to steer. Trying, 
lady. Come on, boys. Hold on to him! Yeah. Calm it down! Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, now hold I'm on. I'm in trouble here! Hold on. Calm down, Horsey, calm down. I got some nice apples for you. Calm down. Calm down. It's calm all right! Down. Come on, calm baby! Down. Calm, calm down. down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. God damn it! Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. We're not gonna hurt you. Come on. Come That's on. It. Come on. Yeah. Yay! There you go. You're a regular Bronco Buster, city boy. Nice work. Oh, I think off. that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. Hey, hey, my, why, why is my horsey running away? Come here. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. I really hope you stop. Guess this no rest for over. the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. Okay, okay. Let's let's go find some more horses. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Okay. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there.
love when I can't go through these bushes. Let's go! You're not going that way. Let's go. Out this way. Come. Okay, this is not easy. White Beauty, come on. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Ah, fucker. I got you now. I got you. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, shit. Calm down. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Come on, Everything come will be fine. On. Everything will be easy. Come on. come on. Come on. I got nice juicy carrots and apples for you. Come on. Oh, damn. Hold oh, me down. Jesus, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. And my horse will just follow.
There you go, Miss Bonnie. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? Come on. Thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. I was happy with the one I already had. Save and quit. Yeah. Uh, oh, good. I'm not helping anybody else. Easy. Too bad this can't be like the Witcher and I can tell it to follow the road. Like Assassin's Creed and tell it to follow the road and and uh, go to my de destination mark. But you know, this game was made well before those ones were, so. Is going to be the end of today's episode. I hope that everyone has a fantastic day, evening, night, and I will see you in the next episode. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later.